You know, I, I, I talk shit before we tip off and after, but you know, during the game, you know, we wore your status and that's kind of how cold was. We just competed, man, and I and I, and I loved it. And you know, you know, you know, Poles as as a as a wing player, it's a couple players that during our era that we had to kind of match up against and kind of test our skills and see if we can go against them. Like, you know, you had the Kobe's, the T Max, you know, the Vince Carter, those guys were, you know, you know, tops of the top, Ray Allen's, those guys. So, you know, when we had to match up with Kobe, I just knew that was my job. Everybody had a job and my job was to guard Kobe and we had to guard Shaq by committee. And, you know, Scott, what I love about Scottie Pippen is that in Rashid Wallace, there's some of the greatest team defenders that you could ever ask for. And, and Pose, you know, at, you know, defense is everything, especially if you got some guys behind you telling you where to, you know, pressure up, push them this way. And that's yeah. what I love about our team. That's what it was. So I was young, dumb, you know what I'm saying? Didn't know nothing about what I was even a part of. And they were just like, 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 a, like a dog. Go get him, Bonzi. Go get him. Follow him everywhere. And that's kind of what it was. Yeah, that's kind of what it was. And Pip was like, boy, go, go get him. Follow that motherfucker to the locker room. Everywhere he go, you shady. And you, and you send him to us. And that's kind of what it was. And I loved about Kobe. You know, we, we, man, we used to try to fuck Kobe up in a good way. You know, you know not, not trying to hurt him, but just trying to make him feel us. And, you know, Kobe right. wasn't. He wasn't doing it until he got, you know what I'm saying, to the end of his career. But, you know, we, we felt like he was a little light. And that was our only defense against him. You know, he had he was excellent footwork, great shooter, competitive fibers off, off the charts. You know, like, it's only a few things that, 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 that you can find against Kobe back then that were deficits. And, you know, him not being strong was one of them. And that's what we try to do. We try to make our offense our best defense. And that's in terms of posting him up, going for every rebound, running, banging him, leaning on him, just trying to do whatever you can to try to wear him down in the fourth quarter. And, and, and that's what it was against Kobe. And, and, you know, playing against Shaq, man, you know, I wish I wish Shaq got a chance to really go against a young Sabonis and see what he really could have done against him because, you know, Shaq got a great chance to bully Sabonis a little bit and kind of just, you know, do his thing. And he was the he was the saving grace for the Lakers back then. But our, our team, all in all, was just it, it, we should have won at least two championships with that team, maybe even three if they would have kept us together because we had such a great team. But it was just the mindset of management wasn't on the same place of reality of what we needed.